Hello ladies and gentlemen, so Stephen Quick here. Um, normally I do the speaking bit uh, before I do the paint, but um, not this time. So that's what you're going to see in this video, this painting being created. You got George, you got John, you got Ringo, and you got Mr. Paul McCartney, um, some skiffle band from Liverpool. So this is based on the Beatles for Sale uh, album cover, uh, which is very different to this actually. It's, it's got very light colours, uh, lots of creams, and then you've got the uh, a big lens flare here and a lot more body so I, I took out um, the boring background and the confusing foreground and just made it focus on the uh, main four faces this is what you're going to see in this video you're going to see this painting being created I hope you enjoy it um, I hope you like the painting and uh, I shall see you uh, in the next video but in fact uh, I thought it would be good to do a little commentary for this one so uh, you're going to see me now uh, let's start the video as you can see I was started off by uh, thinking that I was going to use the same colours as the background of the painting of the original image, which is this sort of this uh, yellowy, creamy, uh, whitey colour. But um, I will change that later because it kind of looks like I don't know baby food, <laughs> not very nice. Uh, so the first thing I'm doing is defining each face with uh, just a black acrylic paint. Uh, this is a Winsor & Newton acrylic paint on a, a, a canvas. Not sure what the make of the canvas is. Just figuring out the main features, the, the shape of the head, where the hair is going to be, uh, the eyes, uh, the collars and the position of each of the uh, the guys faces so George, John, uh, Ringo and Paul and you can see I'm just mapping out so they don't cross over each other so I don't run out of space suddenly you know, I've only got half of Paul's face um, that would have been a disaster and then I thought mm, I don't like that creamy colour in the background let's try this mint green um, that uh, also looks like shit. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. And uh, look at it, it's awful. <laughs> awful. Uh, so I give up on the background and we go back. So um, I'm working um, left to right. And starting off with George, uh, just working in uh, the shadows, which is the uh, the dark brown. So that's the, the hair. All the hairs are brown, so that was quite nice. Uh, working in the hair colour, this is getting the, uh, the dark brown to the shadows and the hair so it will connect the two together getting the colour palette correct um, and then just again you see redefining the nose the mouth and just really getting in the deep shadows of um, their faces just so I can build up from there And now I'm going in with uh, one of the three mid-tone colours I'm using. I'm using these uh, sort of uh, skin tone, creamy uh, browns to uh, make the skin. I don't like making skin out of, um, or painting skin out of uh, flesh, flesh colours on the pink side. I much prefer to go on the brown side, so the blue side. Um, and uh, this is all I'm adding, really, just adding a few layers to get, re um, get George's face popping out. Um, adding the various layers of skin tone uh, to give his face... Um, the round shape. Uh, the paint I'm using for this is mixed. This is paint I've all mixed, all these colours. Um, starting off with, um, uh, I start off with one skin colour and then white, black, blue and work outwards like on the colour wheel. Um, as you can see there's George, he's coming on pretty well. Uh, that's that's all the base colours done on George um, and I will, uh, now I'm going on to uh, John. As you can see, I started on a strange mid-tone. Because uh, I want them all in the same colour, I had to figure out how much light's on each character. Uh, George has got a lot more light on it, therefore his highlight is the lightest of the colours. John is in the background a bit more, therefore his highlight will be the mid-tone that's on George, if that makes any sense at all. So his skin tone there, the highlight of his skin, the main skin tone, is the darker shade that's on George, because he's behind. So if I'd done him with the same... Um, colours progressing from light to dark he would have stuck out too much and looked a bit funny so uh, that's why I started with the uh, middle tone on his face and worked backwards and forwards opposed to working from dark to light um, his eyes look ridiculously scary there <laughs> awful uh, the background now I'm thinking oh let's try purple the uh, colour I always use good old purple and as you can see it looks okay ah that tea was hot um, but it was too dark uh, too light, sorry. So now I'm going in with this this dark purple. This uh, this is an acrylic purple, and we skip a bit head a bit here just because you didn't need to seal that. So the purple looks much better. See how the purple contrasts with the uh, skin tones really nicely, and it's pushing the faces forward, which is what I wanted. And now we're going on to Ringo. 
Uh, Ringo, the problem with Ringo is he's got a ridiculous big nose, which is quite difficult to paint. Yeah, I can talk. Um, <laughs> and uh, he's at a completely different angle to the rest of them, which is... Um, which threw me off a bit, um, but he's worked fine. There. He's he's the he's the shortest, uh, so he's got a lot more light shining off his face uh, because he's they put him at the front of the shot because he's he's the shorter member. And now we're on pole, as you can see, um, just on Ringo and John there, I'm working a bit of the purple from the background into the hair to, to, uh, to link it all together, to amalgamate it. Um, and um, now I'm going on to Paul. Paul um, Paul's got quite funny eyes. If you ever see Paul McCartney, his eyes are quite droopy. So it's a, you, you've got to be careful when I paint him to not make him look like he's like gormless or, or confused. Um, the Beatles all got very distinctive looks, um, which makes them very much fun to paint, but you've also got to be very careful. Uh, Paul is the furthest in the background, therefore his skin is the darkest. Um, again, if you notice there, I started with a mid-tone like I did with John's face and worked back out. And um, as you can see, his, his highlight um, on his face there on the cheek is a lot, lot darker to the highlight on uh, Ringo. Ringo is nearly white because Ringo's right at the front. Um, so again, just using these, these brownish skin tones, working in the layers uh, to get the three-dimensional round shape of a face without doing shading like you would normally, because this is a pop art style, um, I'm not uh, using washes and stuff to shade because this is a, a, a layer style. And now I'm splatting. Um, I've got a bit of paper so I can cover their faces and don't get, well, I've got paint on their faces but not in the wrong places where I want it. This is just purple coming out of the purple, so it looks like it's been thrown at the canvas and dripping down like you know, like a like a paintball gun. Uh, I'm putting some splats going over their heads, over their hair to link it all together, um, and then a bit on their jackets. Uh, now I'm using a blue because blue is along the same tonal range as um, purple. It works fine. And then I'm putting in some yellow to uh, highlight it, highlight it and pick it out and give them a bit more of an explosion. They can pop. Um, the, these these splats are not random. If you notice around John's collar and uh, George's collar, the splats I'm doing in the direction of where their body is. Uh, so they're not crossing over. Uh, so if you see on John's collar there, it comes in at like a point because that's where I want his jacket. So they are random as in where they land is random, but not random as where I'm aiming. <laughs> uh, and, um, and now I'm working in some white. This is um, a very thick acrylic white and you can see when I'm firing, or throwing, it's landing a lot different to the other paint. It's not splatting out as much. It's much heavier, and that was done on purpose because I wanted that to be the highlight, to be the the like the full stop on the painting, if you like. Uh, and there you can see, especially on John, you can see how the shape of the splats is working to the shape of his body or his coat. And um, that's me being an idiot. And that is the painting. That's that's the Beatles for sale painting. Uh, an extremely difficult painting to do, mainly because there's so many people in it. Um, that always means you, you've got four times the work. Um, great fun to do, and I love the colour color palette that I used in the end, and uh, the simplicity of the faces, uh, and it's come out really well. So um, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, please, uh, should like, subscribe, and let me know any other paintings you would like to see painted, and um, I shall see you in the next video. So uh, take care. Bye-bye.